What's going on everybody? Alonzo here with GolfCoastSmoke.com and today we're making smoked meatball sliders on some King's Hawaiian Rolls. Now this is something my wife and I have been talking about for a few weeks and today we decided we wanted to show you guys how easy and simple this is to do and it's going to turn out absolutely delicious. For our ingredients today we're going to start with some marinara sauce, parmesan cheese, breadcrumbs, two pounds of ground beef, we're going to be using Southern Bell. If you guys don't have Southern Bell, just choose a nice beef seasoning. We've got our King's Hawaiian Rolls, and then we have some sliced mozzarella cheese, as well as two eggs. And optionally, we have some mini pepperonis for whatever reason. I feel like pepperonis go great on meatball sliders, so that's what I'm going to do today. In order to start this process, we're going to put our two pounds of ground beef into a bowl. This is just going to make it easier to incorporate everything together. Then... We'll crack two eggs right inside the bowl. Now we're going to add one cup of breadcrumbs. Next, we're going to add half a cup of Parmesan cheese and about two tablespoons of Southern Bell. Next, we're just going to incorporate everything together, mix it until this meat, eggs, and all this mixture just has a good consistency. Optionally, you can use ground pork in this if you'd like, but today we just decided we were going to do 100% beef. And this is what you should see. I see a little bit of that cheese everywhere, those breadcrumbs, the eggs are completely mixed in. Now it's time to make our meatballs. Now I'm just going to grab a piece of this ground beef mixture and form it into a ball. And this is about the size that I'm looking for on our meatballs. Do not forget, we're using those King's Hawaiian Rolls and they're individually cut out already, they're perforated, so we wanna make sure that these are gonna fit in all those spots. Now that we're done forming our meatballs, we're gonna head outside and choose our cooker. I really don't have any idea what I'm gonna to use today, but I wanna cook these low and slow. I wanna get a nice smoke flavor on them. So around 275 or 300 degrees, any cooker that you have at home is gonna work just fine. Okay, now we're outside and we're here at the Traeger Ironwood 650. We did decide we wanna use the Traeger today because it's hot out here in South Texas. So let's stay inside as much as we can. I'm also watching TSM play in the ALGS tournament. And if you guys don't like Apex, that thing has been super awesome this weekend. Anyway, we're not gonna talk about gaming too much, but let's get these on the Traeger. We'll check them in about 20 minutes. I wanna cook these to around 155 degrees internal because they're going to keep cooking once we put them on those slider buns. So just keep that in mind when you're doing these. They are going to continue to cook as we let the cheese melt later. Also, a little side note, I did put it on this little wire rack here just to make it easier for me to get everything in and out. And around 15 minutes later, we're going to check these meatballs out. Like I said, we do not want to cook these fully, but I want them to be around 155 degrees or so. And you can see right here that this one's right at 154. That's just dumb luck. Well, 155, so let's pull these off. We're gonna toss these in that marinara sauce, and then we're gonna start building our sliders. Now I'm gonna transfer all of our partially cooked meatballs into a bowl, and then I'm gonna pour a whole jar of this marinara sauce inside this bowl. There's enough residual heat on these meatballs to make this warm. And also, don't forget that we are going to put this back on the smoker here in just a sec. So I'm just going to carefully toss all of these meatballs in this marinara. Now we'll take our King's Hawaiian buns out of the wrapper and we're going to slice these in half. Next, we're going to layer some mozzarella cheese all on the bottom side of these King's Hawaiian rolls. On top of that cheese, we're gonna put a well-coated meatball. If it looks like I didn't get enough sauce, I'm just gonna put a little bit extra. I definitely don't want too much because I don't want these to be soggy in any way, shape, or form. Now we're gonna come back with some more cheese right on top of the meatballs. And then I'm gonna to top that cheese with some average sized pepperonis. We're gonna put our lid right on top. And after we've got all our sliders assembled, we're just gonna hit the top of these with a little bit of butter, with a little bit of garlic, and with a little bit of parsley. This is gonna help everything brown up, and then we're gonna put these back on the grill for just a few minutes. We want the cheese to melt, we want everything to brown up, and I could tell you what, you want to make sure 
that you add this butter on top because it smells absolutely outrageous. I already know that this is really gonna help enhance all those flavors. Okay, we're back outside at the Traeger and we've bumped it up to 350 degrees. We just wanna melt the cheese and we wanna get everything nice and browned on top. If you guys don't have a Traeger where you can easily swap the temperatures, you can do this part in your oven, that's completely fine. And just over an hour later, we are completely done with this cook. We're ready to try out our delicious, I know they're gonna be delicious because it smells so good, these smoked meatball sliders. Let's take a bite. Yes. That is so delicious. I get the garlic on top, the meatball is cooked perfectly, the cheese is melted, the marinara, you guys have to try this out. The beautiful thing about this is you can put so many different ingredients inside of these King's Hawaiian rolls and they're just going to turn out so good because the rolls alone are out of this world. If you guys like this video, let us know by subscribing to the channel. We put out two new videos every single week, delicious and easy recipes just like this. As always, I really appreciate you guys tuning into this video. Thanks and we'll see you on the next one.